Pokemon Horizons Episode 48 Reaction. Yeah, going straight into it immediately. Um, yeah, yeah, previous episode was legal. Um, well, succeeding in her mission to just harass the lies. Kind of. I don't mind her losing. I actually think it was good that she lost the first battle. But... This to me feels like very fast paced. Maybe too fast. Because I do know... Um, that this episode... Is going to be Roy battling... Uh, it's going to be his mission. Then I wonder, is next episode going to be Dot's mission of Terrasalizing versus um, the streamer girl? Yeah, I, I mean, the song is still good. I like it. Ah, seeing Anne there, and uh, the more I uh, look at Anne, uh, you know, I'm like, oh god, is she gonna be part of the explorers? I need to get a good look on yeah, Sango. She also has that tooth. Yeah, I think Sango and Anne are sisters. And it's going to be like the younger sister. Hmm. Now, the question is, is Sango, not Sango, is Anne part of the explorers? Or is it just a coincidence that, you know, her sister is part of the explorers and she's not, you know? The brilliance of fire and art. Yeah, and there's the confirmation. They're setting up decorations. Cloth. Which I think it was pretty cool Pokemon. I like cloth. I like its ability. Ang not anger point, but it's ability. Anger shell. It's cool. <sighs> uh, the people can, you know, take part in. Oh, okay. So this guy, the dra he was he used dragons. Oh, yeah, looks good. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, the, that's on Flora, a bit suggestive. <sighs> yeah, they're friends. Good friends. Yeah. So like, yeah, I knew it. The way you were using, you know, nicknames or pet names, whatever you want to call it, with each other. Huh? It's an art festival. Is this the first time they meet Roy and her dad? Yeah, it's obviously their first time. <sighs> but...
Yeah, like I'm dealing with the festival. The Sunflora Daybreak. And I hope that if Roy battles you, Brassius, please let it be a two on two battle. We need to let uh, Wattrel do a little bit. And you know, we see that you have your Dalive and your Siluudo. Let Wattrel defeat uh, what's called Dalev and then get knocked out by Siluudo. And then uh, his other Pokemon, <laughs> Pococo, defeats Sudowoodo. Instead, okay, it's gonna be against Nemona, which is also, you know, a battle that has been long awaiting, right? I mean, Roy is not gonna win. You know, if he wins versus Nimona, I'm, I'm calling bullshit. I guess this is setting up like another. Uh, what's called? Another rival. So maybe this will be a two parter actually. Where Roy don't fight Brassius this time. Oh, nice. That was a good shot. Oh, no. Is Roy not gonna think about the rain? But what if it pops up behind, like right below me? Oh. I mean, it's still gonna do damage. Oh. No, the rain is too. Okay. Oh no. Like, ah, Roy. You did not pay attention to the weather. It's raining. Yeah, that's not the only reason. Well, this could be good. This could be maybe like a good character development arc for Roy. Okay, actually like that. I like that he's not battling. And it seems like he's still working on that Arbeliva statue. Or like that twisted Arbeliva statue. Then they're gonna work together to make Fukoko like harden the clay maybe. That's pretty cool. But you do have a little bit of an artist right there. And it's kind of like, oh, this is great. Yeah, I like steel. All right, or iron. Oh my god. They're like, I'm having fun here. It's 
Like, wait, I'm gonna make my bud filthy. Looking great. Looking great. <coughs> what are you planning? While well, Tinker Tink is making a bunch of hammers. Thank you, Dot. Holy shit, do you look look at the other trainers? Everyone else is using all their Pokemon. Roy wasn't even considering Watrol. Man, poor Watrol having Roy as a trainer. Man, that's horrific. So anyways, good job Dot. It's probably gonna use Watrol's electricity for something. Um All right, yeah. You need a skeleton underneath. Uh, my neighbors are starting to drill, sorry. Hopefully that doesn't get caught up like in the audio sometimes it doesn't okay yep yeah. well, here you go some some pottery now But it is still gonna crumble under its own weight. Okay, they are using a pins and stuff like that. Okay. Like support structures. Okay, you managed it. Good job, Roy. And since we're only halfway through the episode, are they actually gonna do the battle in this episode as well? Because uh, it does seem to be going super fast. Looks good. Holy shit, okay, yeah, that's really good. The R believer in the middle. Nice. Roy, maybe you should trade Watrol to um uh, dot and you shouldn't get anything in return because obviously Roy doesn't have it in him to take care of more than one Pokemon oh Ah, okay, those are like a bit of like candles. Got it. You can see the passion, the fire in its eyes.
you know, you need to be able to be fluid as well. To think about what medium are you working with, you know? If you're working on a canvas, certain things might work better than others. Rather, if you're working on like paper or whatever other medium, like plastic, then what type of plastic? Even though that's resin that I just picked up, but I do have some plastics right next to it. All right, so it is just a one-on-one, -on -one, which does kind of like take me out a bit. I do think this episode is a lot better than the previous one. Yeah, I think it is better than the Lika one, because in the Lika one, oh, in the Lika one, the only thing that I really enjoyed was Sango. Oh God, here comes Stone Edge. So it's not rock throws anymore. Like, well, we've seen that move before as well. <coughs> well, your disarming voice failed. So Stomping Tantrum will do double damage now. And I assume Substitute doesn't cost HP in this, in the show, would be my guess. Like he's not losing hit points when he uses Substitutes. Like, oh, I can see it's getting tired. All right. Like, it's always to the left. Oh, or not. I <laughs> got poor Sudo Budo. Brassius. Are you going to do something else? Our third time with that animation? And he's kind of like, oh man, do I really want to wrestleize into a grass type? Because now the flamethrowers Gonna be super effective versus us. I hope uh, Fukoko's terror type is something other than fire. Uh, I kind of hope they like spice it up a bit. So let's see. They did not. <laughs> it took me a while to like register. Like, wait, what am I seeing? All right. Well, that confirms that dots. Quaxley is going to become a water type. So maybe they'll do it basic for the starters. And then the other Pokemon are going to be a bit more special. And it isn't just a primary type. Cause I think that's how it is in the games. Um, like when you catch something just random in the wild, it always is the primary typing. You have to do something with crystals 
or capture like a special Terra raid for something else. But yeah, you did it. Ended with that flame charge. So I will say Roy did smart in the fact that he kind of kept flame charge hidden. You know, he denied Rassius that information until the very end. So yeah, Roy winning this time is a good thing. He should he should win for the story. But I also think this should be two episodes, right? Like an episode of the battling, and then one episode before this battle. Good job. And you won. Like now the pressure is higher. Are we going to say, uh, is it gonna be Dot's uncle? Gonna be serving the food in the carts? I assume it is. Alright. That was that episode. Hello, Freed. Time for your Pokemon seminar. Uh, the hands on Pokemon. <laughs> hands off, Pomat. It was an okay episode. I mean, probably it's an episode I would rewatch. It's completely serviceable, right? I, I, I wasn't horrified watching it. I had fun. I mean, obviously, they're probably gonna have to move fast uh, because of how the first um, season basically was. So I understand. Like, we're, we started the second season now, right? Uh, with the whole school thing. And I assume the last season is going to be going back to what we did in the first season. And then capturing the rest of the heroes. And then going to Rakwa and all that stuff. So if they really want to get through what is basically like the game plot story-ish. You know, at least their like version of it. I understand why they're doing it the way they are. Because the next episode is one out of these three that we've seen with this, with passing the first test that I'm the most excited about. Also because I mean we're gonna see more of that gym leader, the electro type gym leader. And I wonder if she's gonna use her Miss Magius. Because we haven't seen her Miss Magius in the show so far. I think they've only shown Magnemite, which Weirdly enough, she didn't have in uh, her gym. Like, she didn't have any Magnemites, which is weird. Maybe the Magnemites are just for decoration. But they have shown her belly bolts, and that's the only one they've shown. So I wonder if they... And also in the... Was it the intro or the outro? When they showed all the gym leaders and basically their ace Pokemon. It was belly bolts. Not Miss Magius. I kind of want more than just one-on-one -on -one battles. I will say the battles are a bit dull, I'd say. Like, the battles themselves are pretty good. I like how they're animated. And I kind of like a little bit of some of the strategies they're doing here and there. Like, obviously, they're slowly getting better. And I assume that later on we're going to get some really good battles. Because it seems that their battle IQ is going up decently fast. Uh, but I want to see a diversity of Pokemon used. It's very boring to just see Sprigatito or Florigato. Them only using their first Pokemon. Only using their the starter Pokemon in battles, right? Poor Wattrel hasn't been allowed to do anything. Thank Arceus for Dot for remembering. Ah, Roy, do you have a Wattrel? Don't be a shitty trainer and just ignore it. What was the point of that episode that was all about how you ignore Wattrel and just 
only cares about for Coco and Wattrell feels left in the shadows. Ever since that episode, Wattrell's been even more in the shadows, even more uh, neglected by Roy. Horrific, horrific trainer. And he needs to be called out for it. 